Hey guys, um, I was just reading and I thought I'd share something with you guys that, that I was looking at. Um, and it's talking about when Jesus, um, told, uh, about the greatest commandment. It said, hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees and Pharisees together, one of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. That is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is unlike it, is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And then, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? The son of David, they replied. He said to them, How is it then that David, speaking by the Spirit, calls him Lord? For he says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If then David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? And no one would dare say a word in reply. And from that day on, no one dared ask him any more questions. I'll bet they didn't. <laughs> and I, I just got to thinking about that, you know, like, you know, their eyes were blinded to who he was. And even so, it seems rather, um, when you're an unbeliever, uh, it can seem rather strange. But if if there's something uh, about the name of Jesus that that you just can't let it go and you've never called on the Lord, um, ask him to reveal himself to you in a mighty way. And he will. Um, if you ask with a sincere heart, this is how many people have come to the Lord. Um, it's just between you and him. What have you got to lose, right? Most people have tried just about everything in this world. And if that's not working so well for you, I, I asked you, please, just call on the Lord yourself. If you exist, if you're real, show me and, and see what happens. You will see. Um, we serve a living God. We serve a living Savior. He's the living, breathing Word of God. And, and all of it's true. I think about the soon coming rapture of the church, the return of Christ. And I, I, uh, I think about those who will be um, left. And um, it's, it's sad, guys, because... Maybe at least if they can't hear our warnings now, maybe, maybe once we're gone, I, I know that it's going to take that for some of them, but maybe once we're gone, they'll have the faith enough to believe that it was all true because we'll be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. And I know that many people were hopeful for Pentecost. That is the conception of the Gentile church. It would seem, um... I guess appropriate that um, that it would be also the birth of the church, um, but the Lord uh, says in His Scripture, you know, will I will I conceive and not bring forth? It will happen, and um, and He states that very plainly in His Scripture that He is going to return. Um, so it just got me pondering these things today. It says that um, revelation upon the word can only be through the Holy Spirit. And, um, and I hope that for, um, for those of you in Christ that, that this message means something to you today and, and maybe a, a different way to uh, let others know um, about the Lord. If you've tried everything else and talked to them, ask them in the still quiet hours of the night to, to ask the Lord themselves. Are you real? Do you exist? What are these people talking about? Because the time is so close, guys. Many believers have been led to know that these are our days to watch for the return of Christ. And, and many prophecies are fulfilling all around us at a rapid pace. And um, these may be the last moments to call on the Lord. It, it says in the scripture, 
that today is the day of salvation. So I'm going to leave that with you guys and, um, and also let you know that um, thank you for your donations for Rhonda Joyner. We're still trying to get um, some money together for her surgery, um, but you all um, have been uh, generous. It's just that the doctors aren't so generous and, and her copay is, is, um, is a lot to get that knee surgery done. And plus we do have a couple of other concerns. So as the Lord leads you, um, you know, that's, that's all any of us can do, right? To occupy until he comes. Um, so I, I'm going to leave that with you guys and, and I love you all. And I'll, I'll leave my, um, email in, in the description box below. Um, or it seems as if that's how it's accessed through PayPal since this is kind of new to me too, but, um, but that's been working rather, um, rather well. So, um, I love you guys and, and thank you for everything. And, um, and, and if I don't see you here, I'm going to be like Aaron, I'll see you up there in the air because I, I, I do believe that as soon as we, uh, even think for a moment that the Lord's not coming, we're going to hear those trumpets guys. So just keep that in mind and, and, um, and stay focused. And, uh, I think we're, uh, we're going to be soon with our Lord. So, um, I love you guys.